Hey guys, according to the Sun, the Mieti Hala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban, has strongly objected to a recent military raid on his Lafia Nasarawa State headquarters. The raid resulted in the arrest of several members and the classification of valuables, including cash worth over a million naira. The state chairman of Magba, Halaji Bala Mohamed Dabu, made this known during a press briefing on Wednesday. Halaji Bala explained that military personnel stormed the association's office, cordoned off the area, and proceeded with arrest and the seizure of properties. He added that he had the head of the military special force in Dama later admitted the raid was due to faulty intelligence. The military had been tracking a suspect whose signal mistakenly led them to Mabak's office, but further investigations revealed it was an error. Alaji Bala expressed the association's dissatisfaction with the incident, stating that we cannot tolerate such acts of embarrassment. If the military fails to apologize and return our money, we will seek legal redress. He also maintained that the Nasarawa state government, the state police commissioner, and Mabag's national secretariat had been informed of the situation. Alaji uh, Bala stressed the importance of addressing the issue to prevent further occurrences. Meanwhile, the former National Vice Chairman, Northwest of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Dr. Sally Lukman, has raised the alarm that the nation's democracy is intensive care, is intensive care unit, ICU, with no doctor to attend to it. Lukman has, however, said that leaders like the former President Olusegu Obrasenjo, the former military president, General Ibrahim, Babangida, the former head of state, General Adusalami Abubakar, and the retired General Aliyu Gwotsu owned a responsibility to the nation to take it out of the ICU. Lukman also lamented that the current avoidable and embarrassing dispute between Dangote Refinery and Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, NNPCL, is pushing the citizens to swallow bitter pills of higher price of petroleum products in a manner that simply devalue local production. He said that the, the male fact that the nation is gradually uh, relapsing back to the era of arbitrary arrest and detention of journalists, labor leaders, and innocent citizens who express this disagreement with government at all levels is a strong indication that Nigeria is now a training ground for authoritar authoritarian leaders. Lukman, in a topic titled Nigeria Democracy in ICU, said that one of the big gaps constantly stating Nigerians in the most uncomfortable way is the demobilization and destruction of democratic structures in the country, adding that all the All Progressive Congress, APC, is now more of private limited liability company owned by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He said, as Nigerians, we are faced with a very unfortunate situation whereby an elected government is taking all the wrong decisions and all democratic structures that could facilitate consultations, enforce accountability, and to that extent regulate the conduct of election uh, of elected leaders, including President Ashiweju Bola Metinubo, are being systematically demobilized and de demobilized and uh, demobilized. Part of the disturbing reality highlighting the mismanagement of public policy in Nigeria is the current avoidable and embarrassing dispute between Dangote Refinery and the NNPC and how citizens are being pushed to swallow bitter pills 
of higher price of petroleum products in a manner that simply devalue local production. Unfortunately, for what, whatever reasons, that appears to be the presence of the government as it is. The issue of welfare of citizens is not the priority of President Asueju Bola Tinubu. It is almost as if President Bola Tinubu does not give a damn about whether Nigerians are dying or account of government heartless and mindless policies rather than push public policy in a direction that re relieved the economy burden of harsh living conditions. The federal government is more bent on imposing more stringent measures that drains and devalue the resources of Nigerians. No doubt, Nigerians are faced with the hardest of times. In the circumstances, it is legitimized for all leaders who mean well for the country to be worried. Nigerian democracy is in intensive care unit with no doctor to attend to. Could the former president, Obasanjo, the former military president, Babangida, the former head of state, Adu Salami, and the retired general, Gusu, be the doctors needed to get Nigeria out of the ICU? If so, how can they achieve that? The former president, Obasanjo, the former military president, Babangida, the former head of state, Adu Salami Abubaka, and the retired general, Wurzo, are certainly leaders in their own right who have paid their dues at different times in the political history of Nigeria. They were able to intervene. Arguably, their interventions may have, in one way or the other, contributed to getting Nigeria to his current mercy situation. This leader's own responsibility to the nation to take it out of ICU. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape.